Welcome again, Hot Wheels fans. So, I missed out on the very first run of the Raging Express. You know, all the scalpers bought them all up, and I just didn't feel like paying the, uh, the extra money, even though it wasn't that much more expensive. It's the principle of it, really. So, the Wave number 2 just came out recently, and I managed to score one of these at a local uh, department store. And, uh, here we go. The, the Raging Express, I don't know if there's an actual uh, story behind this, but these are called Decatora trucks, which in Japan, it just means decoration truck, really. And they're just, you know, pimped out rides in Japanese style, just like every other country has their own version of uh, pimped out semi trucks or, you know, commercial trucks. Japan has their own flavor. And uh, here's some images of them. And it's quite interesting, uh, I was looking in, at this in the package, this, this seems to be a blend of two pictures. This picture here, you can see the top hexagonal lights, right? Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Uh, thing's so chrome though, I'm not sure if you can see that. Right, so that. But then if we go to the bottom, this is quite different from that photograph, but if we look at like say this photograph it's very similar right so you know I don't know who's making these kits if these are kits or all custom made or what I I don't know but uh, they're definitely interesting to look at very uh, eye-catching <coughs> I, I gotta say I've never seen one in person myself but it would be pretty cool. I especially like all these crazy lights. I mean, this looks like a Las Vegas on wheels. Or, or this this one over here. Maybe that's... No, I think that's a digital rendering. Never mind. Okay. Well, anyway, so you get the idea. So there's really not much to talk about about these vehicles because they're all, you know, quite different they're per driver's style, I guess. But let's just see what's going on here. So I know the... The difference between this and the first one is the first one was all chromed. This one now has this reddish, well, I, I guess it'd be a dark maroon or something like that color. I don't know if the wheels are different. I assume these wheels are different from the first run as well. But is this identical? I kind of feel like this might be the same as the first one. There's uh, the designer. And then, uh, yeah, so just a whole bunch of chrome. So I'm going to probably add a bunch of paint and stuff like this and stuff into these recesses since it should be pretty easy to do. And uh, these are pretty nice wheels, but I think I'm going to do a 3D wheel project on this. And I'm already thinking, you know, since uh, these hexagonal shapes here, these honeycombs are already here, maybe I'll try to incorporate some honeycombs into a, a wheel or possibly these diamonds sakura flowers maybe or a wave or a mountain so there's actually a lot of things they can go with but it seems to be a very geometric uh looking vehicle almost as if it was made out of gems like a, a gemstone ve vehicle a little diamond plate back here well i guess that's not diamond plate some sort of checker okay well anyways I'm gonna try to add some color and try to get it a little bit more like these crazy photographs we were just looking at so give me a minute bling bling here we are again so here's the wheels I went with um, you know I looked at the photos of the a real truck that had hexagonal lights up here this Hot Wheels I think they're actually more I don't know if they're round no I guess there's a chamfer there so they're geometric of some shape, like a gemstone. And so what I did is I took uh, eight of those stone hexagonal profiles and then I tilted them and then I extruded them out. So from the side it looks like this, but if you look at maybe, let's focus on this top one here. So this top hole, if I twist this thing, right there, that's a hexagon. And it's, you know, extruding down that way. So the intention of that design is, you know, big trucks like this, they're carrying around tons of weight, right? So if you're going down a hill, you know, you got to have a, a lot of braking power. So I, w I thought it would make sense to help cool off the brakes better. So basically this edge out here is grabbing some air, you know, still recessed a, a behind the tire, 
but it's still grabbing a tiny bit of air as it spins around and then it forces air towards the brake system you know and then all the soot and stuff can go underneath the vehicle so instead of messing up the shiny chrome of the of this type of vehicle so that was my intention there and uh, because I know that maybe I'll put this on a regular car later in the future I decided to leave the 10 lug nuts off you know big trucks like this usually have like 10 or 12 lug nuts but in this case being custom wheels maybe this is like a giant center cast center cover and there are lug nuts under there uh, can pretend anything I want I suppose all right so that's the main thing I'm kind of happy I did manage to get it to roll I uh I sunk the wheels in actually as well because originally they were sticking out like that much but I wanted to sink them behind this uh, layer here so that's what I did and then I mostly used sharpie those little small sharpie markers uh, these kind of things they're called uh, sharpie ultra fine points and uh, they work pretty well you know so I got some blue and purple on this side here and then I alternated, put orange on the sides as if they were like maybe blinkers. And then the others would just be colorful accent lights, purple and blue, purple and blue. There is some silver here for the headlights, so it's not as shiny as the chrome everywhere else. And then I added some black paint wash into this grill. I'm not sure if that's really a grill though. So that's what I did on the front. On the back, I got some orange blinkers way up there as well as on the side here, red brake lights, backup lights, and then three blue lights for fun. And then I actually put in reflexite reflectors. These are the actual type of reflective stickers you would see on the side of a semi-truck. They're super reflective. You can actually see a hexagonal pattern in there. So re reflexite reflectors, if you're unaware, there's a silver layer behind this uh, red layer. So there's a two-piece layer and there's a lot of uh, tiny molded in details I guess and that's what causes the thing to refract light and catch a lot of reflections so if I took a flashlight to that you'd see it from like 20 50 meters away alright well anyways so up top I added a little black paint into these little vents and these little detail lines and a tiny bit of black paint wash here for the diamond plates so that's what I did uh, I'm pretty happy with it you know, this is way, way under, you know, small scale being a semi truck. So it's kind of, I don't even know what to compare it to, but BA Baracus is always on for a show. So BA's van here, this is by Greenlight Models, guys. It's a great model. And I, I, I would assume it is 164 scale, but it's about the same size as this Hot Wheels, right? So, you know, in, in real life, this Hot Wheels would probably be like, twice as big in every dimension so I'm gonna pull out a, a mystery machine just for fun because we're these are two three totally random vehicles just trucks or kind of trucks I guess they're vans in a truck all right well so not the best comparisons today but uh, still a cool looking model all right it's for the cost of a mainline you can't beat it so it definitely deserves a spin, and then this time around, I'm going to put it up in the uh, shill stand with a couple ladies here. You know, Japan has the K-Class cars. You know, tiny K-Class trucks, K-Class cars. I almost feel like this could be a K-Class delivery vehicle, you know, for the tiny back roads of Tokyo. Because it doesn't look too out of scale with these women. Ah, uh, the door does. The door looks significantly out of scale. <laughs> Never mind. I guess not. Uh, unless you only can get in through the back back gate, and there is no side door, because the windshield does does seem okay. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Well. All in all, I think it's a great casting. You know, a lot of funky details, and a lot of the recesses are there, which makes it easy to modify. All the, you know, most of the Sharpie markers are in recesses. So you just jam the little ultra fine Sharpie in there and you start rubbing it back and forth. That's not meant to be a joke. And uh, you'll get the color in there. I had to lay it down in a couple times. I do have to warn you though, these side markers here are paint because I put orange Sharpie there in 
I let it dry for a few hours, but my my fingers t still took it off very easily. So if you put Sharpie on a flat surface and your fingers fingertips get to it, it's going to rub the Sharpie off. But all the other stuff you see here that Sharpie are generally in recesses. So since it's recessed, the, the Sharpie color shouldn't come off. But uh, yeah, those side markers there, I painted orange because of that fact. So just a little tip for you guys. Okay guys, well it's interesting. You know, uh, in, now I'm kind of tempted to look up scale models of Decatora trucks. I like ridiculous things, and this is a ridiculous truck, so I might have to look up some other ones. I don't think I'd want to have a 164 scale one, because I know it'd be huge, but maybe if they're like N scale or something, or 187 scale, I might be able to pull it off. You know what? This looks like a 187 scale truck, now that I think of it. Alright, well, irregardless, uh, have a good time, guys, and go out get this model. It's fun. Alright, see ya.